What's going on guys? <clears throat> Wanna say thank you to everyone that bought the course and thank you to the Nerd Tribe. Right now, you're being exploited. There's information that the banks don't want you to know. There's information that the 1% don't want you to know. There's information that the wealthy don't want you to know. How many times have you turned on a video and that was the intro that there's this secret information that the wealthy, the banks, the corporations. I got a comment the other day talking about the reason people were, weren't were poor was it was no reason that they, they, they had nothing to do with it. They had nothing to do with it. And going on talking about luck and if the tone of the content of the comment was, if you are rich, you've exploited someone, you've taken advantage of someone. And so what I wanna do is kinda of go through the ways that I made money and let's see if I exploited anyone to make money. So my first large chunk of money was with GC Solutions, where I was selling commercial office furniture, used commercial office furniture. So I found someone that needed some furniture and I sold it to them. It seems like a win-win. They needed furniture, I sold them furniture, I got money. Where's the exploitation? All right, now the second way that I made a lot of money it's gonna get interesting. The storage auction business, which ran on the fact that people did not pay their rent on their storage units. And let's go ahead and open that and unpack that. When I first started the storage auction business, I some kind of way because you know it was like I was still that guy it was still not exposed to business not understanding how the world worked it was still somewhat that kind of guy and I kind of felt bad because these people had lost their storage units and this is what brought me out of that? There was this unit that I bought that had all of these baby pictures, family pictures, literally two medium sized boxes full of albums. And I bought the unit an hour away from where my business was. So I went ahead, took that stuff back to the storage facility to let the storage facility let the people know that they can come pick up their pictures. And I remember the guy put the box in this office next to this file cabinet. He stacked the boxes on top of each other. And for the next eight times that I went back to that facility to buy storage units, those boxes were still there. And the ninth time I went, the boxes were gone. And I said, hey, they came and picked them up. He said, no, nah, I just threw them out. They were never coming to pick them up. So that really brought me out of that. Because here's the thing. If you pay your bill, they will not sell your storage unit. So where is the exploitation here? All right, let's go back to the YouTube business. I created a book detailing how to get in the storage auction business. I traded information for money. Where's the exploitation? Then to my online courses, I educate people. So I have been able to get wealthy by not exploiting people. And here's the thing. If you're a person who believes that to get wealthy, you must exploit someone, or those who gotten wealthy have exploited someone, or in these YouTube videos like 
the secrets that the 1% doesn't want you to know, things that banks don't want you to know. You will never be rich. There's a, a saying I have, you cannot have what you hate. You cannot have what you hate. And there's a lot of people who feel that this system is exploiting people, somewhat like the Matrix. Everyone in the Matrix was hooked up to these, these systems and then everyone was literally a battery. <sighs> All right, there are ways for you to become extremely rich and wealthy. Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Do you feel exploited when you go to amazon.com and buy something and it shows up at your house? No, you don't. Now, part of that is the workers. And we're, we're getting ready to have this conversation. Uh, I did a video where an Amazon a delivery driver just quit in the middle of his shift because he was tired of working that hard. If you go back to the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, people would get a job, they would go to work, and for the most part, they would be happy. But once we got into this internet age, because I, I was watching, because I'm getting ready to start running some ads, I'm gonna do the ads training, and everyone who runs YouTube advertising, this is what's funny because I was wondering what her angle was and she never uses the word drop shipping in um, her course. She never uses the word drop shipping. She never uses affiliate marketing. She never uses approaching influencers. She makes, it, it's a drop shipping course. But she doesn't use the word drop shipping because a lot of people, when they hear drop shipping, they tune it out. And you know, she uses this language. And but there was the first, and this is one of the things that I have got to understand. The first 10 minutes was fluff. I was here, I started doing this, I bought a house in Puerto Rico. Now I have all of this free time to foster dogs and I don't have to work some pesky, suck ass nine to five. And I've seen this over and over and over again where people have like, look, if you buy my course, you don't have to work a nine to five. You don't have to work, you can be free. And you know, she was like, all of these people, they're making all of this money. She leaves out the fact of cost of goods, cost of advertising. She was like, this chick, you know, scaled up to $100,000 per month in two months. And she went from 3,000 to 100,000. All right, with ad spent, which could be possible, but here's the thing. You're gonna need about the 10 to $20,000 to spend on ads before you start spending that kind of money on ads. So, you know, I, I broke it down. A chick who's making 50,000 uh, with the cost of goods and everything, she ain't making, well, 100,000. She's not making 100,000. But the, the whole point is, there are many people that market to average people that you can create an exceptional income doing little or nothing. And it's a lie, it's a lie. All right, let me go ahead and just drop some sauce on you, you know, since people like that sauce. All right, I was able to put up a video talking about how I felt R. Kelly was screwed over the internet came down on me and they did not stop nothing. Didn't stop nothing. You wanna know why? I'm exceptional. For me to be doing what I've been doing for the last 14 years, I am not average, I am not normal, I am atypical. And this is one of the things that you have to understand. 
you're not going to have an above average income being an average person. And this is one of the things, cause like, uh, I'm gonna share some with you. The ads I'm gonna run are gonna be completely different because I'm not gonna lie to people. You know, I, I'm just, you know, it's, it's like, I, I sit here every day and I think about how I'm gonna create this content and create these ads because I'm gonna tell them, you know, there's this one ad called the no code revolution, the no coders where these people are able to quit their jobs and do this thing and have all of this free time. And here, here's the thing. I'm gonna explain something to you. And I'm gonna explain to you why the reason you're not being exploited. As long as you are the average person, you're not being exploited. Because here, here's the thing. The skills that you bring to the table are pedestrian. They're average. Literally what you bring to the table, they can go out and find a hundred people, a thousand people who can do that job. So you're not gonna make a lot of money. You're not gonna make a lot of money. And one of the big things is the big lie. If you're an average person with no assets above and beyond your income, there ain't shit you can do to defend your money against inflation because you need your money to live. And I keep seeing this false narrative push to, and I, I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna catch some heat for saying this. The average American is stupid. Uh, there ain't no other way to, to go ahead and even, they're stupid. Like, go ahead, the average woman is stupid. What, you don't believe me? How many women you know out here go out here and get pregnant and become a single mother, which is the quickest way to poverty? This is statistical fact. And right now, there are a bunch of pregnant women who are not married, who are not in a committed relationship, who are gonna have a baby this year, and their life is going to go on this downward trajectory. If you were smart, you would not be having kids without being in a stable situation, if you were smart. Now go ahead, be mad, leave nasty comments, I don't care. Because once again, the average American is stupid. Once again, more TikTok. You just see the most insipid content that entertains low information diet, low intellect people. Um, I do not consume TikTok because I don't think it's creative. I don't think it's worth my time. But the average American is stupid. And this is why the average American doesn't live within their income they live at the limit of their income, or worse, they use credit as an extension of income, so they're actually spending more money than they make, which is stupid, and this is the case with the average American. Um, anybody who comes up with this nonsense that um, you are being exploited because you go work a job and let's go ahead and let, let's just dig into that. So I am the business founder. I've spent the money, I made the sacrifices and I'm supposed to hire people and be equitable in the distribution of the income. These employees, they come in at nine, they leave at five. They don't spend, they don't come early, they don't stay late. But for some reason, I'm supposed to share an equitable distribution of the income to people who have not made the sacrifices. If you're an average person who thinks like that, I feel sorry for you when you get old because you're gonna be poor, you're not gonna have any money, and you're gonna struggle in your old age. Because here's the thing. In the United States of America, if you're willing to do more 
and work hard, you can become affluent. Now, this is not necessarily rich, but I believe based upon what's out there that the average person in America, if they would apply themselves, which they don't, could be making 100K a year. So what does that mean? If you are an average man and you apply yourself, you can make 100K a year and you're an average woman. So essentially, if you get these two average people who have applied themselves and they get married, they should have a household income of 200K. I feel that it's well beyond the reason with the resources, the education, the information. Once again, the average person is stupid. Years ago, I was giving away free business courses that if you actually did the work, you would have made money. 95% of the people who signed up for that stuff did. Also, another thing that I'm seeing in the YouTube advertising space, um, I am not a fan of tattoos. And I see a lot of people who will come on YouTube with a sleeve, hair looking all crazy, and as a business owner and a seasoned entrepreneur, I am not even listening to this person. I'm like, you got tattoos. Like once again, I'm, I'm gonna do a whole different type of ad. We will see if it works. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We will find out. But what I'm seeing is this push to be who you wanna be. And let's define that. Roll out of bed. The way that you roll out of bed, don't wash your face, don't brush your teeth. This is how people are coming to public forums and representing their brands. This is how people are doing it because they're average. They are, um, they do nothing exceptional. They're not uh, creative. They're not atypical. And once again, I am seeing the ads and these ads could be winning because this ad with this girl who was like selling a drop shipping course, that's what she's selling a drop shipping course. Uh, I've only, this is the first time I've seen this ad. So I don't really know how, how well she's doing. I, I don't know that. But um, one of the things that I want to get across to you is if you choose to remain average, if you choose not to work hard, if you choose to be normal, what happens to you is not exploitation. And once again, this is America. If you want to put it in low gear and not work that hard, you can make it in America. You can have a place to live, you can eat, you can have entertainment, you can take vacations. You're just never gonna have a remarkable life. You're just not gonna be able to do certain things. But if that's where you wanna be in the United States of America, you have that choice to be that person. And I keep seeing in there, all right, my background, my mother was a single mother. I grew up in a single mother product environment. And even as a kid, I knew that this wasn't good. And so what happened to me? For a long time, I got indoctrinated with average American work, you know. It was a different world. Uh, I would say I couldn't wait to work. When I was a kid, I couldn't wait to get 15 so I could get a job, so I could start making some money. Couldn't wait. Now. You have people who are telling grown-ups not to work. You shouldn't be working that hard. Bump a job, you should be, you know, get money and be like me and not work. The whole thing has been turned on its head. And once again, we have the global reset. We're gonna have a pretty nasty increase in the recession right, right, right now 
We're in the recession right now. Make no mistakes about it. We're in the recession right now. We have crazy inflation and next year it's going to get worse. And if you want to remain average, if you don't want to work that hard, which is your right, it's your right. Do not expect to be living like someone who went out, did the hard work of starting a business, they're making money, they're driving a luxury car, they live in a very nice house, they are able to take three, four trips a year, they always have money. See, the problem is you got average pokes who want to live like that, but they don't want to do the work. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to make the sacrifice. They don't want to experience any delayed gratification. They don't want to do the work. And I'm telling you, my plan in 2023 and 2024 and 2025 is to do more and to get richer. That's my plan because it's a choice. You're not being exploited when you're just average and you choose to remain average. There's no one exploiting you. There's not like all of the 1% got together and had a convention and it's like, hey, we're gonna keep all this information secret. I have been saying on this YouTube channel for many years, the fastest, quickest way to start a business and make $250,000 a year is to start a service business car wash business, a cleaning business, a moving company, a lawn service. And y'all don't want to do that because you want your business to be sexy. You want your business to be Toro or Airbnb because it's marketed. Because see, Toro has a marketing department. Until I actually started making my videos talking about how bad the car rental business was you did not see those kind of videos on YouTube. Now you see them all over the place. There was this girl, Audrey Jink, and she's put up there of her wrecked cars and her losses. And one video she put up, she's like, you know, we got 17 cars, five of them are down. That kind of content was not being put up on YouTube until I exposed the realness of the car rental business because I had the money to scale up the 30 cars very quickly and I was able to give you information from a car rental company owner with 30 cars and tell you what a shit show it was. So once again, there are a lot of people and I got a comment from uh, one of my uh, frequent commenters talking about how everyone was interested, because once again, it's marketing. This is why Airbnb is so popular. It's the Airbnb marketing department. There's so many people talking about Airbnb is so, you know, it's passive income. It's, once again, Airbnb is not passive income. And this is something that I have been seeing that no one on YouTube is talking about. A number of Airbnb owners have taken their houses off of Airbnb and they put them on the long-term rental market. If Airbnb was so great, why are people doing that? Because it sucks. I can tell you from being in the service industry, because when you get on Airbnb, you're not a real estate investor. You're in the hospitality industry. When people check out, you got to clean that property. You got to turn over. You got to deal with issues. You're not a passive real estate investor. You're in the hospitality industry with the fluctuations of price. And this is why so many people who get on Airbnb because they're listening to the Airbnb marketing department that is easy, passive money, and they get into it, they're like, oh, this ain't so easy. Once again, these are average people seeking exceptionally simple, easy income income production strategies that allow them to remain average. And I'm like, I can just tell you from experience, I would not be where I'm at today if I remain who I was years ago. I would not be 
that person that I am today. I, I wouldn't be in this position if I remain that average person. And once again, understand that you are not being exploited if you choose to remain average, which is your right, which is your choice. Because I, I see these little wimpy, whiny comments. Well, everyone's not materialistic. So you think living in the van, not having a stationary home, going from place to place is something that the average person wants to do. I have noted that once a person gets a little older in their videos, they're on YouTube where people are ending van life because it's not fun, it's not attractive, it's a lot of work, and they're just like, uh, I'm out. A lot of people are exiting van life because of the van life marketing department that made van life seem so romantic and appealing. And I'm just sitting here like, once again, good marketing can sell bullshit seven days a week, three times on Sunday. Good marketing can sell anything. Don't believe me? All of the girls on YouTube who were doing OnlyFans content were selling marketing to girls who wanted to OnlyFans content. And I want you to think about this. And this is something that I noticed. Chatterbait, which is a, uh, it's, it's a live streaming platform. It's like OnlyFans, it's a similar genre, right? And I've noticed that these people who are having sex on camera live porn shows, if you will, no one seems to have any money. They have very cheap apartments, uh, cheap houses, cheap bedroom sets. I've not seen one of these chicks doing her show from a luxurious situation, which means they're doing this because they need money. And I would hate myself if I had, you know, unless I was wired that way, because there, there are people who enjoy people watching them. But the average person who's getting on Chatterbait, the average girl, after a while, they're gonna find out that it's degrading, it's humiliating, and they, they'll stop doing it. And there's a group of women out there who like that type of stuff. But see, this is the choice. You've got the option to remain average because like I said, if you think living in the van and I see this whole thing, these people are not materialistic. You know what? My uncle, um, Willingham, my uncle wasn't materialistic. He was, he grew up in Alabama. He moved to Detroit and he worked in a Pontiac factory and he moved up the ranks to provide a better life for himself and his family. So it ain't about being materialistic. It's about the natural innate drive that used to be in America to do better, to have a nicer life. Right now, you have a lot of people who have just tapped out. I, I'm gonna be a bum. I'm gonna live in a van. I'm just gonna ride around. I mean, if you think van life is cool, all right, this is what you do. Go out and get a van. Sell everything you have and buy yourself a van and live in it and see how cool that's going to be. I guarantee you that the majority of folks would not last a year because this whole notion of living in the van. And once again, there are some people who've done it for financial reasons and they had a plan and they were built for it, but once again, you're not being exploited. You're making a personal choice, which is your right. You're making a personal choice to not do more, not to be creative, not to be a contributor to the American economy, to be a conspicuous consumer and not work that hard. That's a choice. That's not exploitation. That's not exploitation. And I consistently see in, you know, uh, the late great Kevin Samuels talked about this often. As a man, you should be working 60 hours, 
What's, but people don't want to hear that. Kevin Samuels, Brandon Carter, I've seen numerous people talk about work harder, do more. And I see all of these YouTube ads that are speaking to people from a, hey, if you do this, you can quit that pesky nine to five job. You can have like, literally this girl, like the first almost 20 minutes was fluff. Wouldn't tell you, know, I didn't even know what it was, you know, cause it was e-commerce. She did say it was e-commerce, but she never uses the word drop shipping. She never uses affiliates cause this is her whole pitch. You start a website, you go ahead and you know, and she, you know, she doesn't get into the finer details because here's the thing. Uh, I have personally not ever ordered from a drop shipping store because when I see it's going to take six, seven weeks to get the merchandise, I'm out. I'm not going to wait around that long to get the stuff that I want. I'm just not doing it. And you know, what has happened is a lot of these drop shipping agents in China have established American warehouses where the stuff ships from an American zip code. So that has dramatically decreased the time because they were losing money. Like people, I'm not going to sit around and wait six, eight weeks to get something that I ordered. When I can go to Amazon and get it in two days, I can go to Apple. I can order virtually any product that Apple has on the Apple website and get it within two hours. If it's in stock in a local store, I can get it within two hours. So this, you know, this whole thing is you don't have to worry about, you know, she didn't even get into, um, you know, her whole spill. And this is something else too. One of the things that they're doing is you cannot sign up for the course. You have to schedule a phone call. And I've seen a lot of people getting away from just having a link to where you have to schedule a phone call. And you know why? You close more sales with a phone call. When I was offering a consulting package where I got on the phone and talked to people, literally my first month, I was closing 50% of the people who called. So if a hundred people called, I closed 50. So you, once you actually get someone on the phone and you can explain your closing rate goes through the roof. So that may be something that I may employ uh, because I understand the math behind it because you know, a lot of stuff can happen on a webinar, but if you get someone who picks up the phone and then, cause you know, people have questions. So these are questions that can be an, easily answered on the phone call. So we will see how that goes, but yeah, it, it's a drop shipping. It's a drop shipping course where she never ever uses the word drop shipping. Never uses it. it it's very interesting. And once again, I know from experience that great marketing can sell bullshit all day long, seven days a week, three times on Sunday. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand is, and you know, we're going to be having more conversations. If you want to change your life, if you want to have the finer things in life, you need to work hard. This is what it is. You need to work hard. And um, a lot of people are buying it because right now there is the income hack. I actually watched the video where this girl said this is a side hustle that made $200,000. Now I'm about to tell you something about, you know, it was Facebook Reels making content for Facebook. All right. Let me go ahead and explain something to you. The number of people who make content on Facebook, literally only 5% actually make money from it. So it is not easy to get a Facebook income. It's not easy. And she made it sound like it was so simple. And you know, she's got a YouTube channel with a dog. Once again, this goes to why I feel that most of America is stupid because you know, there are plenty of people in the building with dogs. I see a dog, I don't lose my mind over a dog, but there are people 
who hold animals in higher cons consideration than humans, to, which is crazy to me. I will never put an animal before a human, but there are many people who have dogs who will do it in a heartbeat. If, you know, Eddie, if you were in the room and it was like, you gotta choose, we're gonna shoot Eddie or we're gonna shoot your dog, Poo Poo. Eddie gotta go. I mean, that, that's what these people will do. But yeah, man, um, you're not being exploited. I, I know that there are many people who feel that, like I said, I find it preposterous to think that all the rich people have this convention and they're putting out these rules and have this secret information and these secret handshakes to keep the average person out. The average person is average because they choose to be average. If you choose not to be average, if you choose to do more, if you choose to be more, you will do more, you will be more, and it will be much, much better for you because you're not being exploited. You know, and I just saw this comment and I was just sitting here, here's a person who will never be successful because here's the thing. And you know, I'm probably gonna do some training on this. Once you open up your mind that you can do certain things, guess what happens? You can do certain things. It's pretty interesting how that works. Pretty interesting. First of all, thank you to anyone that has bought any training from bschoolforhustlers.com. Thank you very much for supporting the business. I really appreciate you. Also, thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. All right, this is something that's been percolating, and I want to go ahead and go ahead and tell me, have I ever mentioned the art of holding business mentoring program on the YouTube channel? The answer would be no. It was $30,000, and I recently raised the price to $50,000. Now, let's talk about why I never mentioned this program on the channel. This is the Institute of Economic Thought, talking about things that are going on in the economy. 99% of the people who watch this channel are not qualified for the mentoring program because you're going to need to have an up and running business making six figures a month for this to even remotely make sense for you. And I've had many people, including Income Cam, who came to my channel after I made my CPN video and went to the website. And he's like, you got this program, $30,000, man, I got stuff for the people. All right, let me go ahead and say something. You having bad credit has nothing to do with you being black. You having bad credit is you mismanage your credit. So Income Cam, that's a bunch of bullshit for the people, for the people. And I'm going to say something. Um, I'm a capitalist. I believe in a capitalistic society. I operate, I work in a capitalistic society. And if you don't have the money for this product, big whoop, I'm not going to cry a river. I, and this is something else too. And this is something I learned years and years ago. When I gave away, and let's just go ahead and get to that. When I gave away 19 free business courses from this website, 95% of the people did not take advantage. So I learned that lesson that you could have things that are um, appropriately a price where everyone can buy. Uh, here's the thing, man. If the person who has a problem doesn't care enough to spend money to solve the problem, it ain't that big of a problem for them. So I learned that lesson, you know, for the people, for the people. I literally tried to spend six months giving people a business curriculum that if they had opened up the courses and put in the work, they would make money. And 95% of the people did not take advantage of that offer. And it, it was a very important lesson for me because at the time I was consuming a lot of Gary Vee content. Just give, just give, and just give, and just give. And I gave and it didn't work out because here's the thing. Let's go back to the art of holding business mentoring program. What does this include? This includes something that I cannot scale, my time. I only have 24 hours in the day. And I'll be honest, you wanna know why my consulting packages are so expensive? I really don't wanna to talk to aspirational new business owners who want to discuss and talk about what they're going to do when they don't have a business up and running. I, I simply, it's just, I've been doing this 14 years. I don't wanna to talk to those people. It's not like I hate you, but it's a boring conversation. It's like, hey, you know, I got this ideal. I want, and I, once again, my time is not something I can scale. I only got 24 hours in a day and I do not want to be doing a bunch of talking to people on the phones. Like if my consulting was 500 bucks, that's what would happen. I would literally be spending a lot of time talking to people who have not broken past the mental barrier of actually getting started. So this is why I have never mentioned this program on the YouTube channel. This is why it's not even in the description box because I know the vast majority of people watching the channel, it's not a good fit. So it's pointless, but here's what I'm getting ready to do. B School for Hustlers, business channel. This is what I got going on over here. You know, I, I get a lot of people like, there's only doom and gloom over here, man. It's just doom and gloom. I'm like, I have other channels. If you literally want to start a business, make some money, direct yourself to B School for Hustlers. This is where I drop the business content. And I want to tell you why. There's a different audience over here. I can literally, I've got 80,000 less subscribers over here, right? And I can put a video up here and I'll get three, you know, 15, you know, 1,200 to 3,000 views. And on the main channel, I'll get 3,000. So I have 80,000 less subscribers over here 
and proportionally i get more views from a smaller subscriber base because the folks who are over here actually want to start a business they're interested in starting business they're interested in doing the hard work so this is some stuff that i will start talking about over here and this is some stuff i will start talking about over here same thing way less subscribers but proportionally i get more views from serious people once again you know i appreciate the folks at the institute of economic thought i appreciate the well-constructed comments but from a business standpoint and this is something that i am getting ready to really really work on like the videos over here are different and it is not the business content so if you want uh, if you want business content how to start a business how to deal with credit how to build real business credit the fastest path to wealth if you want this type of stuff go ahead go over to the corporate game get to the corporate game or be like this is that b school for hustlers is people starting businesses this is where the how to start a business content is this is if you already have a business this is the business game for if you already have a business now i will probably start advertising the mentoring program over there i would never ever advertise the mentoring program over here because 99 percent of you guys it's not a good fit it just doesn't make sense and i am sick and tired of people skipping over the stuff that they can't afford with the coupon this is like 2500 this is 2300 y'all like oh, i don't want that i want the best of you glendon cameron i want the best of you i want your best training even though i'm not qualified because here's something that i have learned years and years ago when i was doing let's see where is it when i was doing 30 days to 2500 i was doing that i had someone who already had a business who went from five and six thousand dollars a month to thirty thousand dollars a month and i had a bunch of people who were new who wanted to start a business but they actually haven't started the business and that should just illustrate to you the point that if you're still in that i want to be starting something phase um once again i have love for you i hope you do well i hope you reach your dreams wishes goals ambitions i hope you do but i don't really want to be part of it because it is annoying it's frustrating because for someone and this is one of the things that happened the reason i have this because this, this comes from years and years ago i had a friend and i was just saying hey if they don't know that i offer this how can they buy it so every now and then i will get someone a business owner someone's like hey you know i see you have all this stuff for beginning people but you don't have nothing for me and it's true because the business owner someone that's been in business three four five six years um they have different needs they have different requirements they have a different situation and they're going to need some stuff to look at their marketing their advertising um like i'll tell you one person who got into the program because this is what happens it's like hey you've been watching the channel enjoy your content and we would just kind of do a custom bill for a business owner and i had someone who had a business they were doing five million a year running the business the uh, business owner was kind of running ragged and then i kind of stepped in and just did a few tweaks and we went from five million a year to a million a month just a few little tweaks because here's the thing the business owner had done a lot of stuff correct they had built a business they had cash flow and the same information that you start a business and get to five million is not the same information that you're going to get a business to 10 million it's, it's a different set of skill sets it's a different set of management tactics it's a different way of looking at your business and this business owner went as far as she could go until i stepped in and that's what this is for it's not for the rank and file because like once again this, this is one of the reasons that my consulting package is so expensive i don't want to talk to you if you're just playing around with the concept of starting a business i don't really want to talk to you i've been doing this like i said 14 years i want to talk to people I, I had a great consult with someone who owned a pharmaceutical company i had a great consult with someone who owned they actually were buying and selling gold this was interesting it was exciting these were really dynamic conversations now for the people who want to start a business this is what i do group coaching and a lot of you want one-on-one -on -one, but once again my most precious resource is time so i can you know do a bunch of group coaching i can you know 50 100 people at the same time that's something i can scale and that's why i do it like this you will not talk to me get on the phone with me for less than 2500 bucks it ain't happening because that is a qualifier if you look at the 2500 and like you, you have a company you have revenue of 30 to fifty thousand dollars and you've been in business you spent money on marketing 2500 dollars is not that big of a deal for you but if you don't have a business you just have a job you're making five thousand you're like 2500 that's a, that, once again you're not qualified and no, once again i don't ever talk smack or crap about people not buying my products what if you ever like oh you know you broke you can't buy my never but see here's the thing i believe in the abundance mindset today there is someone going out and they're going to drop three million dollars on the bugatti see i understand that there's so much money in the world there's a ton of money in the world there's a lot of money in the world and i get my share of money in the world so i don't trip i don't insult people i don't demean people for not buying my products you can't afford it you can't afford it but please stop contacting me and leaving these comments in the comment section about this program that you can't afford you want to know why you can't afford it number one you've not spent three to five years building a business and getting your revenue up to six figures per month that's why you can't afford it because it's not for you um like once again I honestly i actually thought about you know giving these courses away again but all i'm going to do is get a bunch of lazy do nothing people who's like oh it's free i'm gonna sign up for it and gonna do shit with it once again my serious people are at the corporate game my serious people are at b school for hustlers that's where my serious people are and once again the serious content i put up a video by will roundtree the serious content just doesn't get the views because a lot of people just kind of want to play around with business they're bought into this well hustlers you can actually make you know 10 15 20 30 thousand dollars a month not work that hard have plenty of time for your hobbies and your family and vacation while not working that hard i believe that's complete and other bullshit here's the thing when you start a business you're going to work harder not less harder for three to five years until you shape it up you build your management team you get it going the way you want to go and then after it's built after you've put a management team in place then you can chill out and then you can relax but in the beginning you're gonna be working more but so many people bought into this concept that hey i can like sprinkle some hustle dust on this and um yeah i can get all this money and i can be hanging out with big booty betty um 
It's just not happening. So once again, please stop leaving comments in the comment section. Stop emailing me about this program because you can't afford it. And I'm not mad at you. Like once again, I've never advertised this on any channel. And once again, I'm getting ready to um, shape this up for B School for Hustlers in the corporate game because I do have some new group coaching that's coming. Because once again, I'm gonna say something. I don't have an inferiority complex. I feel that my time is extremely valuable. I feel that my wisdoms and insights are extremely valuable. And um, yeah, you know, if you want to put something together and you are a business owner, you've already done the hard work, you've already got it started. Maybe, you know, I've had some people that I had to help them switch up their corporate structure. And, you know, it, it's a whole different game dealing with a business owner that has built a business, has cash flow, because they've done a lot of things correctly. And it's so much more fun. And like I said, I, I do like <clears throat> the live trainings are coming back. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen um, probably November and December. And, you know, like I said, if you don't have a business, I don't like hate you or nothing like that. But I don't want to talk to you on the phone for an hour talking about what you want to do. That's boring. That's straight up boring. And that's one of the reasons that I don't even bring up this stuff. What you will see in the comment section is the program, the intellectual property school. That's what you see. You see nothing about this. Nothing. Because like I said, most people can afford it because they haven't done the work. So once again, please stop contacting me, pestering me, asking me questions. Why should I hire you to do this versus an attorney? Uh, number one, the attorney has never ran a business. See, that's the thing. My experience is extremely valuable. That proved that with being in the storage auction business, writing a book, making millions of dollars from a book, from a book. So like I said, you know, I got some new stuff that's coming up, some new stuff to help you guys out. So once again, please stop going in the comments. Please stop going to B School for Hustles and like, you know, like I said, I raised the price. You want, you want to know why I raised the price? To run people off. Because like I said, um, there will literally be a handful of people in the Art of Holding Business Mentoring Program per year. Literally a handful. Maybe 10, maybe 20 people a year. That's it. But that's cool. Because it ain't for everybody. It's not for everybody. So go ahead. Be on the lookout for the new training that's coming. And, you know, if you're serious about business, direct yourself to B School for Hustlers. This is how to start a business content in the corporate game you already have a business so, you know because i'm getting ready to start talking about some different stuff over here so this is where the serious content is and this is where the uh the, the, the crazy stuff is this is where i post the crazy stuff this is where i get into it this is where i just have a little fun so once again that's the thing that's the thing man so thank you for your time thank you for everyone that's bought some training at b school for hustlers we're getting ready to crank it up give me some time to define this to set it up and i will see you guys in the next one